this is Precision TV uh, in our daily show talk show. Uh, today we have a special guest. Uh, we have here Prima, my Mick, and uh, Sanchez. Uh, what's the last name? It's it's complicated me every time. C Sanchez. <laughs> last name is Sanchez. Sanchez. Uh, C J Sanchez. C J Sanchez. Yeah, it's like Mick Primer and C J Sanchez. It's like, it's Sanchez. like India. Mick it's like Indian, Indian, Indian names. <laughs> it's confusing, yeah. And um, this has been this has been funny already. <laughs> no, um, yeah, no. Thanks for having us on. I know we wanted to talk about a short film anyway, so this was a perfect excuse for us to uh, talk about what we wanted to talk about in front of a camera. Woo! Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, we started this short film and it's called Harleen. It is about a young psychiatrist taking on a pretty wild patient. Um, she's looking to cure, cure him, but also, you know, looking for the fame that comes with it and Mick, here is our co-star. Yes, I will be playing the role of the Joker. So that's going to be fun. In Austin here? Yes, yes, in Austin, yes. Oh, okay. Austin-based. Uh, mm -hmm. We actually have um, auditions going on tomorrow mm -hmm. right. to find our uh, our Harley mm -hmm. and our Dr. White, mm -hmm. who okay. serve uh, the main star, Harley. and She's the main psychiatrist. She's the main character. and. Mm -hmm. It's really, you know, people see Harley Quinn and in everything, but they don't know really her her backstory and how the Joker was really able to to seduce her to yeah. come to her side. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, this this short film is a passion project, and you know, it took me a little while to write and try to show fans of the character how she was turned to the Joker mm -hmm. side and how she, you know, ends up you know, falling for him. Oh, is it your first project? Or you have an, uh, you have many projects coming? Um, I think this is a project that we, he's been working on for a long time. Oh, okay. But, um, but I don't think he has, you have anything else other going on, right? Uh, not, a, not at the moment. Yeah. Um, Harleen is taking a lot of our time. And, oh, okay. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's been a journey doing pre-pro for this. And, mm -hmm. um, but it, you know, we got everything down. Yes. We got a lot of the, we have a great crew coming out to help. And um, for an Austin based project, it's it's really nice to see a lot of people coming out and helping this pro helping us out on this project. And it's as much as their project as it is ours. Um, it's, like I said, it's just so nice to have yeah, so people come out. Mm -hmm. Do you already plan, did you already plan the schedule or like a casting? Yeah, how do you cast uh, fine actors here in Austin? Um, well, well, honestly, uh, it's really it's really easy to find talent. Okay. It's the the hardest thing is to find good talent. Good talent. So there's multiple websites that you can use, uh, and Facebook pages rather that got uh, face that have got actors in there. Mm -hmm. But I told CJ to use shortfilmtexas.com All right. to post a casting call, and that's where some pretty good talent see that stuff. Yeah, and it was a, it was it was so great. As soon as I posted, within like an hour, I already had like three responses, and even uh, during the week, I had um, I kept getting like three a day. Oh, three a day, yeah. Like three a day, four a day, and it was it was so great yeah. uh, seeing people wanting to audition for these characters, and mm -hmm. I saw a lot of a lot of their passion come out, saying in their emails, just saying, "Hey, I really love this character," mm -hmm. and not. They weren't saying anything like, oh, please cast me, none of that. They yeah. were saying, please allow me to audition mm -hmm. and show you what I have. Okay. And that, mm -hmm. that's what I like in a, um, in just in a person, you know, like, give me an opportunity. Yeah. And, you know, that's what I like to do. And that's what we're all here to do is give each other opportunities yeah. to, um, to thrive in this. Or at least get your foot in the door because mm -hmm. this business is so hard to get into and, um, I like to try and help people as much as I can to get their foot in the door because we're all, we're all in the same boat. Yeah. Trying to get to. Yeah, it's where to we want to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well said. Like, when I went to ACC, I just everybody in the RTF just decides like to really cohesively work together for the most part, uh -huh. and that's what I really liked. Yeah. So. 
people can just come in and take classes and they build a rapport with one another, their professor, their classmates, yeah. then you have so many opportunities to do things outside class. Mm -hmm. And it can really propel you into something that you really want to do if you're serious about it and you just want to be there, be professional, and have fun. And um, I fell in love with acting at ACC. Wow. And I'll never, ever regret going to ACC. I love film school here, so apply now. If people are watching, that's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Last time, uh, like, uh, Precision TV, we always, we always visit students at ACC. Yeah. Uh, we heard about most of the students, they like directing. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? Uh, it's acting only? Or I, I, f I love acting, but I don't think I can be a director anytime soon. Oh, okay. Why? Because it's just something that I think someone must have within themselves to be constantly in this leadership position when it comes to directing actors uh -huh. and stuff. And I love portraying a character in my way or whoever who wants it to be directed in that way. And that's what I bring to the table. But this guy right next to me is oh, okay. a, a triple threat. You know, I met him in <laughs> acting. Yeah. And uh, he's, he writes cra like crazy. He's always writing something. And he's just always been a hands-on director. Like... Straight away, when I met this guy, he was just like, boom, 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 boom. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, like, wow. You do your thing, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, we were in this, um, we were in this production together, and he, I was technically, well, I was listed at first as the lighting, head, lighting yeah. director or yeah. something. But then CJ was just on it, and it was, like, really great to see. Yeah, so right. I told the guys to switch roles and to me, for me to be his assistant or something in the credits, because I didn't do Jack compared no, to this guy. It's yeah. great. Uh, as experience, uh, you have guys. Uh, what challenge do you see in Austin uh, in terms of movie, uh, film in Austin? Some I didn't really think it was that big until yeah. I started to get to know people. And it's it's great. It's, there's a good community here. And I was interning at a lovely casting agency called Brock Allen Casting. Great place. Oh. <laughs> uh, but that gave me a glimpse to see what it's like and there's some big productions film filming in texas maybe not as much as other states right now because of you know changes and and whatnot but there, it's um, still austin's still a growing mm -hmm. oh, yeah, uh, yeah. film entertainment community mm -hmm. so cool, yeah you know we we haven't been established as long as i don't know maybe la yeah, um, yeah. hollywood um new york and mm -hmm. you know um mm -hmm. but there you know there's great people here and everyone's kind of willing to um, to jump in on a project whether yeah, it be paid exactly. or non-paid you know mm -hmm. and that's what I like to see like if I'm saying hey unfortunately we can't pay you because of budget and mm -hmm. this is a no no paying mm -hmm. gig people are still finding passion in the project and they love what they do and that's exactly. the best kind of people that you want on your set yeah. people who love what they do and regardless of pay they're gonna go there give 110% every time and yeah that's this is a great thing to see yeah on it's set. like me when i was in a film school uh, uh my, my dream was to be as an editor but i end with a you know uh, like a host mm -hmm. uh, like in this you know precision tv um do you think one day you come to work on tv i mean if it pays <laughs> well yes <laughs> i like being in front of the camera as, oh yeah i mean that's probably really obvious right uh, okay now. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Hey man, you'll have you'll be like the next Jimmy Kimmel. And oh, we'll, thank you. And you'll, be, you'll be interviewing me, and we'll doing that. We'll be doing really dorky TV sketches together. And yeah, like we we have we have we have like a, uh, we have like a, someone who trains people in uh, in this in this field. Do you know the guy called Zach? Zach Bashan. Yeah, he's Zach Bashan. Yeah, he's famous. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He's a great so, dude. Yeah, great I can guy. try to connect you with with, with 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 Zach if you want. Funnily enough, if, oh, he okay. went to TV ACC. shows and TV shows that I, you know. And let me know. Absolutely, he's a yeah. famous bloke right now. I'm not sure what his schedule is like. I'm yeah, sure that yeah. Was yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I know. So that's what's great about ACC is that. We get to do these projects, oh, and right. we all feel comfortable with one another. And yeah. sure, we're not gonna be comfortable on set all the time because we're yeah. other people. But uh -huh. that's what's great about ACC. Yeah. And so yeah, that, that was a that was a good thing about finding crew members for Harleen was yeah. everyone just from ACC and the classes that I've taken. I've worked with these people, and oh, okay. I I trust them to do their job just like they trust me to do mine. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we've all worked together, and we have a great. You know, we have great chemistry on set, mm -hmm. 
and I've worked with Mick before. He brings an incredible energy at on set, oh, and right. it's um, everyone's Thanks. loose, but everyone's you know focused on doing mm-hmm. their job. And mm-hmm. you know, ACC has been really doing a fantastic job of pushing uh, these these people yeah. and having them work in a professional manner. And that's kind of what um, that's what I like on set running something as professional as possible, but at the same time. I want everyone to have fun and enjoy what they're doing. Yeah. I heard about uh, you guys who was working long time. How did you meet each other? We met for... Uh, Make like for, selling the story. For a film style. It was a film oh, style production. Film style production, yeah. 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 And uh, it was in the middle of winter, so it was freezing. <laughs> oh. And I, I didn't wear anything but just like a long sleeve shirt and some tight jeans. Mm-hmm. Not, that was Trying to show guy. himself off, yeah, yeah. Right. Too bad it was freezing. Oh, but we met for this this drama, and we never met before that. And oh. it was a really serious drama, mm-hmm. yeah. short film, and uh, it was about me, I guess, confessing to somebody. <laughs> he was my therapist that I liked killing this guy by accident. Oh. It's weird. It's weird. Yeah. I was turning psycho, <laughs> yeah. so I had to, you know. And then there was a scene outside where. We I, attack him and it was freezing, but it was fun. Do you guys play comedy? You like comedy? I well, yeah, I think yeah. I'm a kind of a goofy guy. Yeah, so people, uh, comedy is very popular here in Austin. Do you like popular, play comedy? Because yeah, you, you, I, I would love to. I yeah. wouldn't be. I wouldn't want to be typecast as a comedic oh, okay. actor, but if I can make people happy in whatever performance it may be, that's yeah. great. Whatever you know, I'm down for whatever. If I'm bad, well. You yeah. know, at least you can laugh at me, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> but um, I, I just like doing anything to do with film. Just really, you know, tickles my fancy. Yeah, we are so, almost on the end. Uh, do you have anything like uh, advice for, for other students? Do you have like any yeah. advice for other students oh, yeah. who who have passion uh, mm-hmm. on this in the uh, in this field? Yeah, just stay busy. Stay uh, busy. Yeah. yeah. Enough said. Really, I mean, just stay busy and be professional and uh, just. Build a rapport with people and uh, don't take yourself too seriously. Yeah. yeah. Thank you uh, for for coming for our show. Uh, this is Precision uh, Precision Woo! Talk Show on Precision TV. Uh, next time you'll be here again. 